Good morning, everybody. It is organization time. And today, today, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost tackling her washi tape drawer. Yes, this thing is chock full of washi tape. Yes, yes. Some of you may be able to relate here. Um, maybe you had to find every washi tape known to mankind. Maybe you had to get the skinniest kind available up to the fattest kind available. Not sure, not sure why you did that, but for some reason you thought you had to do that. Did anybody else discover that these are impossible to peel in one sheet? They just kind of come off in sections. <laughs> so I'm thinking that the grand washi tape makers probably make bolts like this and then they just come along and cut pieces, which is maybe what I will do if this already hasn't passed its prime. I've also heard that if your washi tape really doesn't uh, work so well. That's my African Grey Holly in the background saying hello to everybody. It's very excited we're doing a video. And um, I've heard you can pop these in the microwave for a couple of seconds and that will re-soften the glue. So maybe we will experiment with that. Okay, we will maybe try that. Okay, so I think first, though there was, there is a little bit of leftover organization, also known as apparently never grab for these because they have not been disturbed in a long time and i think i just got giant packs of this stuff and this stuff is not that great when like it's old and you okay some tough decisions are going to have to be made today yep yep it, they are okay so apparently once you try and reopen these i mean if this stuff doesn't work i'm not keeping it okay so it's very difficult to get started and when I get it started, okay, I want to see if it's sticky underneath because I had a problem with that the other day. Let me look at a whole, okay, so let's cut a piece off, get rid of you because you are on the outside. Okay, so now, tacky check. Not bad. I was having a problem with a gold one. I think it was this one. Yeah, it felt really sticky on the outside, like the, the glue stuck to itself. So we're just going to abort you. You're going. Bye. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want you. And I'm not going to put a metal thing in my microwave. So this looks like metal tape to me. Probably isn't. It's probably just plastic. But I don't want to take a chance. So yeah, that's what's happening with that. So the real question is, am I, am I going to keep any of these? I don't know. Let me just put them over here for now. So these weird ones. I'm going to do some tests, I think. And see if they're worth keeping. And then, see, reminding yourself that you have stuff is a great way to remind yourself that you have stuff. So if you clean, then you're like, oh yeah, I totally forgot I have those. Yeah, and that, that's what happened. It They're at the back of the drawer. And see here, there's some Christmas themed ones in here. That might come in handy this time of year, right? Hey, hey, hey. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll do something with those. But let me just put all of these, they, like with like, right? So we put things that are similar together so we can really acknowledge fully in true Marie Kondo style, the magic uh, art of tidying up, um, uh, how much we really overbought. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't use a lot of this shine. Why I felt I needed this shiny stuff. I don't know. It was probably Christmas time and there was lots of this glitter fancy stuff around. We should probably use this instead of tape, like regular scotch tape at Christmas time, instead of, you know, gluing our packages together with, um, regular tape. Okay, let's do a test on this one. How are you? Okay, are you sticky underneath? Are you sticky? No, no, you're not sticky. All right, you may, you may live. Yeah, there look, look something metal in here, you know? So you're not going in the microwave. You have to stand on your own two feet. If you had feet, you'd have to stand on them. All right, so do we get all the shiny ones? Whoop, there's one more. There's always one more, you know? You know? Okay, so now let's do the next category. I think it's easiest to remove biggest first. So let's grab all the big ones. Big, like what was I thinking? Really? Am I going to washi tape the entire... Am I going to washi tape my driveway apparently with these? Yes, yes, I, I think that was the grand plan. Put you over there. Now they take up a lot of space. They're big. And I, I got to decide whether I'm going to use them. I just, they're so pretty though. I'm sure I can like use glue stick to stick it down if the glue doesn't work. Um, okay, then there's midsize. For some reason I had to have midsize. I thought, well, I'm sure I can use midsize because they exist and apparently I had to have them. Oh, look, there's a Merry Christmas one. Okay, so let me put my Christmas ones in a pile. All right, that might, let's, let's try and, let's try and do that. You're not Christmas. You are though. You, you kind of look like a Christmas tree, don't you? Look at Christmas tree. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so this is definitely Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, so put Christmas over there. And 
and here's mid-sized chubbies. Oh, this one I actually like. I, I did use a lot of this one. I forgot I had it. See, it has um, all botanicals on it. I got this from Etsy somewhere. I don't know where. I, it was a long time ago, but um, I, I remember being happy with this, and I completely forgot I had it. Now that I have reacquainted myself with it, I will be using this again because I really love these little plant-like images and little plant-like wordings and... What will they grow into? Nobody knows. There's a little weather report down here. I mean, just cutie, cutie little nature things. And I'm a big nature buff over here. So um, you can stay mid-size, okay, midi-mid. These are like next size down. Anybody else this midi-mid size? Okay. Now there's mini-mid. Okay. So we have maxi-mid, midi-mid, and mini-mid. Why? Why did I do this to myself? Do you live in this nightmare with me? Are you here with me living in this? Okay. All right. So these are mini mids, I think. Oh, you know, they're like midi mids. All right. Gosh, there's like four sizes. Oh, Lord. Help. Help. All right. Let's just put all these not the regular size ones together. All right. Put you over there. Maybe I need to back you up a smidgeroo so you can see what's going on. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. Now you can see the whole the whole thing. Um, here's a chubber, a little chubber. We'll just call them generalized chubbers. Cutie birds, right? Yeah, we like birds. That's cute. Cute? Totally cute. Yeah. Okay. Forgot I had it yet again. Okay. Putting some of these midi mids over there. So oh, butterflies. Love the butterflies. Yep. Okay. Butterflies and birds. And here's some labels. Labels are cute. Oh, come back here. Um, very cute. Forgot I had them. Okay. Uh, birdie birds, script. Maybe we should put all script together. And then I will, I will not buy script anymore because obviously I have like seven tons of script over here. What is this? Hello, Holly Bear. These are flowers. So I'll put like a nature pile together of the midi mids. What's this? Birds, of course. And here's like random, this is like clocks, keys. So I, I'm going to call this like a vintage, like a Victorian style. You're all there by yourself. Yeah, you're over there. And I'm going to put these too. Now, these don't work well. They were stamps. They're not real stamps, but they look supposed to look like stamps. They don't peel well, but I love these pictures. And if I can get them to work. So I'm going to, this is what I'm going to try the microwave on. Okay, that's going to be the grand experiment. Let me, uh, let me put this like that so I remember. Will that make me remember? I don't know. Let's see. See if I can remember that before the video is over. I will run and microwave it and bring it back. This is, um, nobody knows what this is. It's like wind or, or water, something. Okay, well, we're going to put you in the weird category. Oh, this is a really cool one. This is like random, really cool uh, owls and stuff. Very cool. Okay, you go with the, the uh, nature. Oh, and here's some plant-like stuff. So that goes with nature. Here's more of the stamps. I think these work okay because I don't see any, any uh, drag on it. Um, I'll put you over with the Victorian. Here's some uh, like old cameras and stuff, Victorian. Okay. <clears throat> Butterflies. More butterflies. Butterflies. Okay, these are like uh, tree branches and weird stuff like that. I have used that before. I do recall using it. What's this? Oh, I totally forgot I had this. Look at this. Oh, I got some other ones stuck on it. Okay. Okay. There. Okay, so this, what is this? Birds. Huh, that's very pretty. I didn't even know I had that. See, it's very important that we go through our stuff before we run out and buy new stuff. Who are we kidding? We're still going to run out and buy new stuff. More stamps with mushrooms. Very cool. Mushroom stamp things. Should I put that with the stamps or with the plants? Plants. Let me put it. You just got to decide. You just got to like, okay, if I'm looking for a mushroom, I'm going to look in the plant section. I would not look in the stamp section for a mushroom stamp. I would never remember that. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, where would I likely look if I was looking for something? Okay, here's more stamps. Apparently, I had to have all the stamp-like things. This is more Victorian style. Yeah, Victorian style. So off you go to Victorian land. All right. Okay. I want one more. This is more Victorian style, like a border. Okay, put you there. Oh, found some more of this stuff. Yep, shiny. Okay. Now, there's this other category that came out, and I honestly, I have barely used it maybe once, but they're... <clears throat> Uh, somebody must have said, hey, instead of just having, let me show you closer, instead of just having a roll, why not have a roll that's already little individual stickers? So you could do something like that. 
And it sounded like a great idea, but I never grab for these things. Why? Because I can't really see what's in here. And I know it's a variety of a million mushrooms, but you know, maybe I don't say to myself, hey, I need a million mushrooms today. So I'm, they're still pretty sticky. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang, oh gosh, I have two rolls of that. That's what I need, right? Two rolls? No, no. Oh, Victorian die cut, wrong place. But apparently with this concept, I also had to get flower petals. Um, little, whoop, more flower-like things. This is a peony, I think. Peony, peony. <laughs> Not pee on me, just peony. <laughs> um, more flowers. Flower petals. Yeah, apparently I was going to construct flowers. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Who are we kidding? What's this? This looks like um, Paris and hearts. We'll put that in vintage. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Oh, nobody knows what that is. Okay, you have glasses on your head. Put them on. Put them on, Missy. See what you have. What is that? Oh, got it upside down. That looks vintagey, doesn't it? Yeah, lamppost. Yeah, vintage. Total vintage. Oh, here's some of that silver, silvery metal stuff. Yeah. Oh gosh, here's more of it. Good grief. Good grief. All right, we're definitely gonna have to test that because apparently I have seven pounds of it. More, but oh, I must have been in a buying frenzy and just had to have and that was a mistake see i'm trying to learn from my mistakes and i'm hoping i can can remind you not to overbuy stuff use it and and because otherwise you're just going to end up with stuff like this and, and when are you going to do this you know you have to really ask yourself okay let me back up a little bit so you can see more all right backing up whoop whoop, whoop. but back up a little more whoop. there we go okay there we go all right so all these i'm going to put over here these flower petal weird things. More of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's starting to look a little more organized in here. More of that stuff. Good grief. Okay, here's some garbage. Yeah, I got rid of something. <laughs> Yay, I actually made space. Oh, here's more of that. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of mushrooms on things lately. Going to do a lot of mushroom themed things. Okay, what's this? Well, these are cute little labely things that peel off. Now, these could be cute. I hope they stick well. All right, so now what are we down to? Oh, look, more of this. Why? Why? Oh, good grief. Good grief. Oh, Lordy May. No, decisions have to be made. They have to be made because this is just crazy town. Crazy town. Okay, oh, look at, we got another one of these peely offy flowers. I like the flowers. I forgot I had them. I could, I would use those. All right, let's look for, I like these. I call these, oh, too close. Not close enough little strips of something and they're cute for page trim or edging envelopes or things like that so i'm gonna put things like that oh here's one of these yeah what is that what is that today i can't even tell what it is would i ever use it oh the hard decision maybe it's having to throw something out oh it's like little random things like a jar of something okay you're gonna go in victorian um this little edging, that's kind of Victorian. I'm going to do with Victorian letters. Okay, they, these guys that look like that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to put you together. Yeah, these little Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What's that? Oh, that's cute. I like that. Little music notes. Very cute. Totally didn't forgot I had it. See? Um, what are you? I don't know what you are. You might be Victorian. All right, here's more of this. You just, oh yeah, more of that. Oh, see, you can't see, sorry. All right, more of those over here. That's Sunny, down on the floor, tearing up some magazines yeah, that I used to glue on. More of the flower things. I'm gonna have to make some decisions about those flower things. All right, oh, more of the silvery stuff. Oh, okay, flowery, flowery things, here we go. Okay, here's some of this. Okay, hand not long enough anymore. Hmm. I feel like I want to run a string or something through that to hold them all together. Or maybe a stick. Oh, you know what I could use? I think I may have thought of something. Thought of something for a, with a purpose of something that I... Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, gosh. I'm not ta even talking with my mic. I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> all right. Found my mic. All right. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And I have my mic plugged in. I hope that's good. Okay, you remember these... I was cutting off the tops of the hanging folders. I am wondering if 
I should do something like this. This is going to either be the best or worst idea ever. Because number one, the good side is it's going to keep like with like, right? Right? The bad side is I have to pull out all of them at once. But that might be a good side because then I will see my options all at once. So let's just try it. We're going to just roll with this <laughs> um, <laughs> for a while and see how that goes. More silver. Oh, good grief. Um, okay, I would consider that this stuff. And I have a million of those things. And I just felt like I would find a purpose for that thing. And I think I have, so I can keep them together because my hand isn't that long anymore. The cigar band. All right. Okay. We can actually do two rows if we have to. Okay. So let's make, okay, here's some more numbers. I'm not even separating on size. I'm separating on type. Yeah. Type. So I'm calling these page trim types. I have no idea if that makes any sense, but let me try and make one. Like I also have flowery category. So let me try, let me try flowery category. Alone. You're kind of, you're vintage. Oh, yuck. <laughs> now, really, every time I pick something up and I go, yuck, that should be a sign that you, you should really let that go to the universe, Pam. Maybe I'll just donate that. We'll see. Okay, these are clocks. That would be vintage. Oh, more cigar bands. I should put all cigar bands together. Don't put things in separate places, Pam. Don't do it. You'll never find it. All right, right. Should only be one place for like you always keep your scissors in the same place so you're not running around looking for them. Okay, that's what we do. All right. What's this? Flowery stuff. Flowery stuff. Flowery stuff. Flowery. I like this stuff. I remember buying all this stuff. I was so excited. I think this was a, a, um, a Michael's purchase or a Hobby Lobby purchase. <clears throat> it was during the heyday of washi tape. I'm like, hey, got to have all this. And uh, what's that? No, that's a single. Okay. Got that. Oh, here's one of those. And here's one of those. That's for the other one. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's either going to be great or a disaster. We shall see. Okay. Oh, more flowery. Now, there, there obviously comes a limit when you just can't put more than so many on one. We're getting there, so we might need to introduce a new flowery. Let's just start a new flowery because I think we have more flowery than we're willing to admit in the public realm, in the public square, more flowery. Here we go. <clears throat> you know, we nature lovers, we are just destined to grab everything flowery saying, oh, I can make something out of that. It has purpose. Purpose, I tell you. Oh, yes, like these lovely green petals. They look like lettuce. Huh. Yep. Apparently, I thought I had to have that. Um, flowery. Okay, let's just deal with all the floweries. Okay, let's put the line like, okay, the flowery. Flowery, yep. Oh, look, I have like a whole other tube of flowery. Who was I kidding? I think this is going to help uh, space-wise, though. I think I'm feeling, I'm thinking, maybe, maybe. Now, I think there are people who have like rolls of this, like they have almost like a paper towel holder. That could actually be hung, couldn't it? Like two little tacks on the wall. Oh, but if I pull it, if I'm trying to like pull and this is tacked, I would pull that right off the wall. Yeah, it's better stationary on the ground. Yep, I know me. Yep, me know me. <laughs> oh, cacti. Yeah, there's one I'll use. Um, Okay, I have nothing against cactus. No, cactus are cacti are wonderful. Um, I just don't have a like strong, you know. They're they're plants though, and that goes into the flowery category. So there you go. Okay, a whole second tube of flowery. Now what is left? Oh, oh, you go over there. Flowery. What's you? Okay, you're going to be that that trim category. Flowery, flowery. Then we have these real skinny minis. What do we use these for? Does anybody know? I really haven't had a lot of purpose for those. Okay, you're, you're going to come on the trim one. What are you, trim? What are you? You look like trim. Maybe these little ones all have to be trim because what else would we use them for other than little linings or trims or things? Okay, you're all trim. Or you're all, yeah, you're all trim. You're trim. Totally trim. What's it, like fruit or something? Yeah, another thing I'll never use. Um flowery trim 
Look at these little things. I think I'm going to just call trim because I don't know what I, it's like slivers of something they were going to cut off and rolls. And there's a paper clip. No purpose in here. Shiny stuff. But every once in a while you need some shiny stuff. Like I'm not against shiny stuff. No, don't get me wrong. Not, not, not against it. Okay. You mushrooms. I have so many of you. You're just going in the garbage. I am throwing you out. Boom. Gone. Okay. And what about all these little guys over here? Look at that. Oh, these are all little trims. Look at that. I got, I got to think of a project just to use up the trims. Maybe if I glue stick down uh, like an envelope or a piece of paper and then I just put these one after another, that might look cool. Parts, you know, on a little oddball thing. Hmm. No, no, I'm going to do that. Oh, I think these came from little, uh, when we were doing exchanges, um, uh, sharing with each other our washi tape because we all have too much. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're going. Um, what do you? Oh, you're you're kind of cute. Yeah, I like you. I got that from my good friend Kathy. Hi, Kathy. And uh, we used to have a lot of uh, crafting fun before COVID. Yeah, and then we all hide inside now. And you know, we just like wave at each other <laughs> through the internet or our smartphones. Um, okay, get rid of you. I got I got to clean this drawer. Out. This drawer needs to be cleaned. I need some cleanage going on here. All right, I'm gonna try and put a few more on here. How many? Maybe two more? Oh, I might be pushing it. All right, I'm going to get two more on there. And I've just got four left. Can I Can I put? No, it's not going to happen. No, no, no. All right, so <clears throat> we need another one of these. Okay. Will these fit? That's kind of long. Maybe I need to trim a little off here. Hang on. I'm going over here to the, the world-famous guillotine cutter. Trying not to cut my fingers off. And going very slowly. There we go. All right, it's a little leaner now, a little leaner and meaner. Hi, Sunshine. How are you doing, baby boy? All right, here we go. We have it leaner and meaner. Now, oh, well, this one's not full yet. Okay, now we have to fill this one first, so. Okay, let's just, let's just put you there for a second. I can load, load at this end. Okay, so these known, I'm going to say these are definitively trims. Oops. Oh, there we go. Can you see disaster happening? Yep, I can see it too. I know. I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's gonna happen. No, I'm not gonna let it happen. Everything's gonna be just dandy. You watch. Okay, you guys, you and you can come here because you are like that. Okay, now we have that. Okay, what are you? What's this whole pile over here? Oh, more. All right. I don't know if we can put many more on there. We'll just see. All right, so we're going to have, you're just going to have to go in the other category and let's make an other category. This is all these little trim, trimaroos. Okay. Yep. Is this going to be the answer to my prayers? We shall see. We shall see how this all comes together. What are we doing? All right. I, it was time I faced the washi tape drawer. Yep. I'll just take you all out of there. Okay. Yeah, we have more. What? No, no mushrooms. No, you go over there. <laughs> Those little Klingons. All right. So we're putting these all on here so we can see what we have. Now this, it is more organized than it was. So, so I get bonus points for that. Is it perfect? No, no. But that's okay. All right. So let me let me empty this out in my garbage. Whoop, what was that? I don't know. Okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, what is, uh, what is this? Oop. Oh, it's probably, come here, to, get, to hold the end of a ribbon or something. Oh, I'm never going to use that. Bye. <clears throat> Sorry, hang on. All right, all clear. The voice has returned. The yapper has been uh, res uh, resurrected and we carry on. Okay, you're going to do a quick wipe out because there's always dust, you know, there's always, see, see? I mean, you think, like, how on earth could it get dusty in here? It does. So just take a quick wipe down, and it'll get rid of all the dust from the last year. And now you can create new dust. Yeah, new dust. All right, maybe one more. That was pretty dusty. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. One more. It, and uh, like I said, I do have a little HEPA filter going on in my craft room, and when I change it, it is full. I mean, it's just amazing how much dust and lint crafting creates when you're working with paper and you're working with fabric. It's just everywhere. So 
you know, <clears throat> maybe open up a window or wipe things down frequently because it really, it does happen. Okay. That's pretty good. Still lots of dirt coming off, but yeah, pretty good. Okay. All right, here we go. Now let's see how we're going to organize all this. Oh, now we still have the issue of the shinies. No, no, I'm on the fence about those. Um, okay, so the ones we're definitely keeping, we're definitely keeping the flowery ones. So I'll put those up front and together. Okay, up front and together. There you live in your happy place. So I remember that I have you. And then we're going to have the, <clears throat> the trims. The trims, if I know I have them, I will use them. A lot of it is, I, I forget I have it. So I'm, I'm hoping, 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 this is going to remind me that I have stuff. So yeah, okay, there is a semblance of organization looking here. It looks really good for now. Who knows what's gonna happen in the long run. I have a Victorian one, which I have not made yet. So let me go ahead and make that one. These are like weird little Victorian things, peely stamps clocks more stamps more weird victorian things i hope you all fit on here all right okay victorian clocks yep and just okay if you have to go somewhere else you're gonna have to go somewhere else because you won't fit wait wait maybe you will fit come back come back all right here's victorian things i'm gonna put you here <coughs> Okay, now that's the stamp I'm going, I'm going to put that in the microwave. We're going to see how that all works. Okay, I do have about a million more of these, so I'm going to now progress on towards my like little skinnies, my, my nature collection. Yeah, I might have to go get more of those. I got back out in the garage I go. But this will keep my nature collection together of the middies. Yeah, I'm going to need quite a few more of these because these take up a lot more room on the roll. Yeah, and they definitely... Oh, no, that's labels. That's not nature. Oh. I'll figure you out in a minute. All right, you? Too big. All right, let's go for some birds. Here you come, birds, birds. Should probably put all the birds together, right? All right, let me... I'll be right back. You know where I'm going. Garage. Okay, I'm really excited. I found the mother load. And I, there's even more out there, so I, I definitely have enough to fill this. Now, the whole idea is not to pile on top and to bring out what I, I really use. And the rest, I don't know. And I really can't have more than one drawer of washi tape because that would just be sacrilege. That would be like breaking some giant crafter universal rule thing somewhere, I'm sure. The like crafter gods are thinking, what? What is she? what is she doing? We need to stop this. This is mayhem. Um... Okay, what are you? I guess, I don't know. You can go on there. Um, okay, I'm gonna put you here. Okay, we have that, flowery. That's like nature, nature, nature. Well, no, I should put all nature together. Nature, nature, nature together, right. Okay, now let's do the scripties. Yeah, here we go. Scripties, I probably have a couple rows of scripties. Got a lot of scripties. Okay, script, script, apparently needed more script. This is a nice way, if you don't have a rubber stamp, you can use, uh, oh, sorry. S there's script stamp washi, yes, yeah. Yep, you too can own seven pounds of this. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Let's see, that's that's how it can all go bad fast. That's, that's what happens. So, like I said, this has pros and cons. This may not work, this may be all for naught. Don't take this as you know, the gospel. It's not. It's me trying to figure things out. Maybe you have better ideas. Okay. Okay. Feel free to share your washi tape organization methods in a drawer. Oops. You can't see. In a drawer. Um, okay. There we go. And see, see if you got better ideas because I'm open to changing. I am not locked into anything. I just want the most efficient way of storing it. Oh, this is longer, but it is... I like this stuff. If I if I remember I have it, I will use it. I, I really do, I believe that of myself. And if it's organized, the question is if I need some of this, can I get in here and just peel some of that off? Or am I gonna have to grab the whole thing, bring it over to the desk 
and peel it off? I don't know. We're going to have to see how that goes. That's the big question. In actual reality of using things. Okay. Oh, I do like this one. Yeah, you, you have to come. Okay, you're kind of a flowery thing. I think I had three more flowery things here. And in the land of flowery things, you can see, um, I have all these darn petal things that have to go somewhere. So maybe they can go on here. Petal, petal. Put the pretty ones on. I, I'm going to hold off on 75 mushrooms. I'm going to put the ones I think I'll use. Artichokes? Really? Really, Pam? Really? Or maybe that's a succulent. Maybe it is. Okay, let's call it it. It's probably an artichoke. Um, that's kind of cute. All right, that. All right, let's try that. Uh, that one's a little shaky. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Flowery's. What's that? Oh, that's the artichoke. Um, oh, I, I like this flower. Yeah, okay, put that one on there. Flower, flower. Okay. All right, so what do we got left? Not sure about those. Okay, all those silvers. Eesh. Eesh. All right, I'm almost, I'm like mentally preparing myself just to let them go to the universe. I'll just take them back down to the Goodwill, let them go. Put these big things in here, but do these serve a purpose? Really, Pam, because if they don't serve a purpose, you need to let them go. You just need to. I like that. <laughs> oh, help, help, help. Okay, can't use it all. What can I do? Is, that, is there going to be room? That would work, actually, because the drawer will close. Darn. Okay. Okay, so it's full, right? It's full. And there's a little more room on here. Okay, so what can I put on there that I still... Okay, so I'm going to put the... I'm going to put this on there. Oh, Kathy gave me these, and I really like these. So I want to save them. I'm going to put them back here. Okay. Because she gave me those. They're special. Um, I do like this. This is a label. Okay, I could put the label on this one, because that's kind of like a trim. A label, right? Yeah, we could, we could rationalize that. I might be looking for it there. Artichoke, pink flowers, mushrooms... Hmm. Maybe I'll use these as, as giveaways. You know, somebody else might have a purpose for them, or they'll be like, "Please don't, don't give us those." Please no. Um, let me just put those in the I don't know category. And I think I am. I am going to free myself of these and let them go to the universe. I will test them to see if they're good. If they're good, I will share them. If they're not good, I will just ditch them. And. Um, I'm going to go and microwave this now and see what happens. So if you want to see, hang on. Okay, wait, let me show you how uh, awful it is right now. Okay, put my glasses on. All right, see? It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and get it started. I got to get the, the back has peeled, gotten stuck to the fronts of the next, like, round of stamps. But they're really cute stamps. I mean, look at that little... Look at that little bunny. I mean, he's just, I mean, I, I really want to save him. So I'm going to spend an hour trying to fix this one roll. You watch. Okay, so it's, get, st okay. So you can see that. All right, I'm going in. I'm going to do it in very short bursts initially. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. I did a 10 minute burst. Just 10, 10 minute, no, 10 second burst. And I heard it sizzle. Let's see. <gasps> oh my God, the people are right. It does soften the glue so things work better. Now, I don't know once this dries. Now, when I put it in there for the 10 seconds, I turned it on and it was like uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And all of a sudden, like around 4, I heard sizzle, sizzle. So everybody's microwave has different strengths. Be careful. If you're going to do this, I don't know if this is safe to do, but um, this may have just resurrected. Look it. Look it. Look. Look. Oh, my God. I can, And it's not getting stuck on the back. Oh, my God. Oh my God, this is like bringing back possibilities. So I would say I'm totally keeping these because I love these. And that was only 10 seconds, 10 seconds in the microwave. Okay, so you are staying. Oh, I'm really happy because I like that roll. Okay, now, okay, so there are possibilities. I had heard it on the streets that that works and apparently it does. So there you go. Um, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to give these mushrooms away because they're perfectly good mushrooms. And I'm going to put those in the the donut pile. I have the Christmas roll, which I really should keep at this time of year with my other little Christmas collection, which is now vanished, gone, not to be seen anywhere. Where did it go? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, little Christmas. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to pull aside anything that looks half Christmassy. 
silver, I guess you could say is Christmas. This, this is kind of pretty Christmas. Oh, we got one of these. Okay. And, uh, okay. So the, the dream is, oh, I need some nature bird like things. Let me grab this, take it over to my craft desk. Okay. Here I'm on my craft desk and, um, it's tilting. Uh, oh, yeah. Go back over there. Okay. Here I am on my craft desk. Am I going to be able to peel some of that up? I think I am. I think it's going to work. Actually, I'll show you as I craft, you'll see me pulling these out. And if it's a complete disaster, you'll be, you'll be saying, I, I could have seen that coming a long time ago. This was going to be awful. I do like the golds and the silvers because I don't know, there's just, they can be used all year round for different fancy stuff, wedding stuff, but I'm not going to put these in the microwave because they look like they have metal and that just, I don't know. I don't feel safe about that. So I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Here's more of these. Just what we need. Um, okay. There you go. On you go. Oh, great. Another one <laughs> figures. All right. So I think that's pretty much a wrap. I don't know where my Christmas stuff went. It was here somewhere. Here's some gold, which gave me the problem. Why, why am I sequestering that? I'll play with that and see if it's worth it or not. If not, we will get, Oh, that's pretty. Look at herbs. Some kind of little herbs. Yeah, I like that. We got to save that. That'll be plant-like thing. Plant-like thing. Flower. Okay, you got a little room here for plant-like thing. Okay. Anything else? Oh, look at the little hearts. Oh, I got to keep those. Where am I going to put those? I don't know. I'm going to find another place for those. I don't know if I'm going to keep those. Verdict's out. All right. Um, so I think, oh, here's these mushrooms again. I'm going to keep that little Victorian die cut because that will go in a journal. Here's extra mushrooms. And let me get a little bag. Hang on. Okay, so this is what I really do. And I'm going to share what I really do. I, when I'm unsure whether I'm going to keep something, I'll put it in a little bag or a little box and I'll put it in the garage. And then if I don't use it after a certain time period, I will get rid of it because then I'll know. You never went back in there to get that stuff. You little stinker bottom. You had high hopes, but it never happened. So it's okay to let go of some stuff it is and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put all this in there and then i am going to see i'm not even going to put, these are cute but i'm not going to put them on my little trim roll no i'm not because I, I have enough i can use the but these will be sequestered in the garage should i put all these in there sure let's just put them all in there and uh the only thing we'll put in here is the christmas one because it's christmas and we might use that one right away and we'll put all these in the bag that will go live in the garage and then I will have to clean out the garage and face my foibles again and uh, decide how I'm going to handle that. So I hope you crafted a lot or crafted. I hope you organized along with me. Um, I hope this inspired you to organize. I'm feeling good. I thought that came out pretty good. Look how organized that looks. I mean, if nothing, the drawer looks organized, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's like a sense of peace. Like, oh, I can see everything I have. There is nothing. Well, there is nothing li layered on top of anything else. My next big thing is what am I going to really do with these? I, I got to try the, uh, let me go try the microwave thing. Hang on. Cause these were, I was really having a problem getting these apart. Hold on. 10 seconds. Okay. I'm back. This one was 20 seconds because after 10, it was just warm. It was barely warm and I didn't know if it would do anything. So another 10 seconds. So this is a 20 second test. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 ho, 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 it's Christmas time and life is good. That never happened before. This never came off as one cheat. I am so excited. I wonder if I can reheat it multiple times as I use it. This opens up many possibilities. So I hope if you have this trouble and this has been happening to you, that you think about microwaving it only if it's safe and it's non-toxic and it won't hurt you. Don't touch it if it's hot and do it in short second bursts. Um, and if there's any downside, please let us know. Maybe it releases toxic fumes and you need to run outside and it's not safe. So take all that into account. I didn't smell anything, but you know, hey, I, I'm not saying this is safe. It's just something I heard on the streets and I tried it and apparently it does reactivate the glue. I don't, it feels sticky too. It's not like, like not sticky because it felt like it wasn't sticky anymore. You know what I mean? But uh, now it feels sticky. So, okay. We got this for another, 
another year before this will ever be cleaned out again, I promise. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. Remember, if you had fun or find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Check out my Amazon store. Uh, favorite tools and supplies are listed there. My Etsy shop for vintage digital kits. There's at least 70 kits now. All sorts of fun things you can download and print out at home using your junk journals. And um, uh, I also pop in some uh, uh, um, writing journals, which are naked journals, or um, uh, fully decorated chunky monkey journals every once in a while, or bundle kits, or who, you just never know what you're going to find. Come on over and check it out. I sometimes put things in there by surprise without announcement. And uh, I have a newsletter. You get a free digital image. It's emailed to you monthly. It's free, the newsletter. Um, you also get a checklist of supplies, which is about seven or eight pages long that you can download, as well as a note from the bookmaker, a little note explaining exactly what a junk journal is and how a person might find different ways to use it. So if you make a junk journal and you want to give somebody an idea of what to do with it, there you go. Uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And, oh, hang on. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sunny, what are you doing? You're not Sunny. Who are you? You're a Sunny lookalike. Sunny imposter. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group. And uh, Sunny came with us to go uh, look at the lights last night. That was fun. And um, we have a Facebook group uh, doing weekly and monthly challenges and all sorts of things related to the videos. You can post your uh, take on all these fun things. We'd love to see what you make. And um, Remember, everybody, that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. We'll all see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.